everyone so today we are going to discuss about how we can assign the ip to the switch because in this scenario i am using the layer 2 switch so what we are going to do we are going to assign the ip address to the layer 2 switch we can say with the help of that ip we can manage our device then we can configure the telnet or ssh so remotely we can access that device so let's see how we can assign the ip address we can say this is the management IP. I am going to manage the device with the help of that IP. For that purpose, we are going to assign the IP. So if you have this switch, okay, if you have this switch, how you can access this switch? In the packet tracer, double click and go to the CLI, you can access the switch. But in the real scenario, what you will do, you will take your laptop, okay? If the management IP is not configured in the switch, and you don't have the telnet ssh configure in the switch then you will take your laptop and then you will take your console cable you will connect the console cable to your laptop and then console port of the switch you are going to connect this way and after that you are going to open the laptop you are going to install the putty software and you are going to take the default setting in the putty that is console port you are going to select and press ok so you will have the access to the switch okay then you can access the switch. So if you see this is a switch, I can access with the help of putty. But here you have the different interface, but in the real scenario, you are going to use the putty software. Let me show you the putty, how it look. You are going to put the serial and you are going to check which COM port it is connected. After that, you are going to press OK. So then you will able to access the switch like this way because now it did not connect it so that's why it is not showing in the putty but in the real scenario you will get these types of interface so now what i will do i will do enable i will go in the enable mode then i will change the name of the switch i will write switch name is sw1 after that i need to assign the management ip so first of all i will check do show ip interface brief so if i check here we don't have any ip anything we have only vlan1 by default we have the vlan1 okay this is a layer to switch so you cannot assign the ip to the interface you need to assign the ip to the vlan only so what we are going to do we are going to assign the ip to the vlan so in this scenario i am going to use the vlan1 as a management vlan so with the help of vlan1 we can access this device okay from anywhere remotely so how we will assign the ip address you will write interface vlan1 and you will go you will write ip address and whatever ip you plan you can assign there i am going to assign the 192.168.1.100 okay give space write subnet mask 255.255.0 and then write no shirt okay so with this port go up i assign the ip address to this switch here i am using the 192.168.1.1 as a gateway here and if you see this switch i assign the ip 192.168.1.100 after that what i can do i can configure the username and password here so let me show you how we can create the user first of all i will put enable pass enable secret abc i put the enable password as a abc then i will create username i can give admin and the password i will give admin so i created one user i put the enable password here after that what we are going to do we are going to configure the telnet so i will write lan vty 0 to 4 okay 0 to 4 or 0 to 1 you can your your wish i will put 0 to 2 means three guys can access at a time three guys can access the telnet at a time so i wrote here lan vty 0 to 4 login okay login local so i am asking them to login local that what is the meaning of this one so access with the help of local user okay so this way i configure here and uh, what i can do this is sufficient you can go to any computer okay and go to the command prompt of the computer then write here telnet tell net and put the ip address of the switch so what ip we assign we assign 1.100 and press enter you can see the username is coming here so telnet port is open you can put the username as admin and you can put the password as admin so you can access the device okay what is the enable password we give we give abc if you want to save the configuration you can save the configuration so in this lab what we learn we learn how we can configure the telnet 
first of all we check how we can assign the ip address to the layer 2 switch okay with that ip we can manage the device so we learn that one so if you are having the issue let me put the configuration here in the notepad or in the file so you can get the easily you can copy paste so let me put here in the notepad okay so here if you see i will paste here so you can easily copy paste you can join our telegram channel in the telegram channel i am going to share this notepad okay and the link also of the this file so easily you can take the file and do the configuration switch one configuration i will write like this switch one configuration switch one configuration what name we should give for this lab i will write here basic lab for switch here first thing we uh, what i can write how to assign ip address to l2 switch this is the first question and how to configure telnet in l2 switch okay so this thing we learn in this video this is the question we have two question we done this one so this is a configuration you will go here you will write here enable config t host name sw1 and then you go under that interface and you assign the ip address and how we configure the telnet telnet we configure line vty 0 to 2 or 3 whatever and you before that i will create one user also we wrote enable password abc and you can create one user you will write user name admin password admin okay and what else login local so this way we can configure the telnet okay so this is a basic configuration what i done and to save the configuration we will write wr wr i will write to save the configuration that's all and now from any device you can access if i want to access here i can access here this is a pc one i can access let me go from the pc to and try to access the device i will write telnet 192.168.1.100 and i will uh, i am able to access i will write the username i am inside enable password i give this one so from two device i am accessing the switch okay from two device pc this pc this pc let me go here and try from this pc also i will write here telnet 192.168.1.100 okay enter and then username is admin password is admin enable password is abc so i am able to access here because i wrote 0 to 2 if you want to check i will write show run section vty if you see what i wrote here we have lan vty 0 to 2 we configure lan vty 0 to 2 so 0 to 2 means three guy can access if i write 0 to 1 then only two guy can access 